Welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. In this video, I will show you how to set and operate this watch, Casio WS1400. And yes, let's start. There are five buttons, adjust button on the top left, and then mode button on the lower left, light button on the top right, and then start stop button on the front left, and lap reset button on the front right. Okay, now to get to the timekeeping mode, you can press the mode button several times from any other mode until you get the high pitch beeping sound that one okay now in the timekeeping mode you can change the time format by pressing the start stop button at the front left so this one so 21 or 9 pm so let me just use the 24 hour format okay and now next you can activate the backlight easy just press the light button on the top right this one okay and then next you can do lcd check by pressing three buttons at the same time adjust mode and start stop so the trick is to press the adjust button a bit earlier and then the other two so like this okay yes and you get the lcd check screen and then next you can press the start stop button to get to the next screen again and then return to the timekeeping mode okay next you can activate the mute or the silent button operation by press and hold the mode button this one until the mute or the silent icon is shown at the button right this one very small okay and to deactivate also the same thing you can press and hold the mode button until the icon is not showing okay now yes let's press the mode button to get back to the timekeeping mode okay and next Let's set the time, date, and so on. And to do that, press and hold the adjust button on the top left, this one. And now we can see that the second is flashing or blinking. And let's start with setting the backlight length or the duration of the uh, of the afterglow effect. And to do that, press the lap or reset button, this one. And you will see that there are three uh, segments, meaning three seconds. And if you press again the lap or reset button, it is showing one. A segment meaning 1.5 second for the backlight so i will just set as this one three second and then for the second you can press the start stop button to reset if it is 29 or less it will become zero without additional minute and if it is 30 or more it will become zero with additional minute so this one that to reset and yes zero without additional minute okay now press the mode button and we are moving to this one the daylight saving setting and for this one, you can activate by pressing the start stop button. So now it is on. And yes, let me set as off. Okay. And then next, you can press the mode button. And we are setting this one is the hour. And for that one, you can use two buttons, start stop and lap reset. So start stop will increase and lap reset will decrease. So it's like clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay, now press the mode button and now is the minute same thing these two buttons so start stop will increase and lap reset will decrease okay again mode button and now is the year so we are using the same buttons start stop will increase or add the number and lap reset will decrease okay again press the mode button and now is the month same thing start stop increase lap reset decrease mode button and now is the date also the same thing start stop to increase and lap reset to decrease and then mode button now return to the setting of the second and also the backlight and if you're done with the setting for the time date and so on you can press the adjust button and done for the setting of the date time and yes the basic settings for this watch now let's move on to the next mode and that is the stopwatch press the mode button and now st meaning for stopwatch the stopwatch has several modes, but let's start with the basic one. So you can use the start stop to start the stopwatch and then press again the start stop to pause and then again to continue and then again to pause or stop and then use the lab reset to reset. Okay. And then the next one, you can use the lap time and split time. So there are two modes. This one is the split time mode, as you can see here. The SPL is active, but if you want to change to lap time, you can press this one, the lap reset, from this uh, zero position of the stopwatch. So now you can see here LAP, lap, 
and if you press again it will change to split time so let me show you first let's start with the lap time okay this one okay and yes for the lap time you can start by pressing this one start stop same thing okay and then you can press this one the lap reset button to get the lap time so okay we get lap number one 686 okay and after about eight seconds it will continue uh, showing like this okay and then you can get the second lap pressing the same button tap and reset so lap number two 13 second 80 uh, hundredth of a second okay and then again you can press again like this lap number three 11 37 okay and yes now it is showing like this so this one is the elapsed time sorry this one is the elapsed time at the lower uh, display and then on the top display is the lap time okay now let me uh, stop using the start stop button on the front left and then reset using the reset button okay now let's try to use the split time so this one is lap time press the lap reset button and we get the split time now and yes let's start with the start stop button okay and now it's running and we can press the lap reset button to get the split time so split time number one is 663 meaning six seconds 63 hundredth of a second okay and yes we can press again the lap reset button to get the second uh, split time so yes for the uh, uh, lap time it will start again from zero but for split time it will continue of course okay another split time we can get here okay and after that it will show similar thing for this one the top part is for the lap time and the button part is for the elapsed time so yes uh, for both split and lap time the top part showing the lap time okay now let me stop and then press this one the lap reset button to uh, reset and done for the stopwatch okay now let's continue with the recall mode and to do that press the mode button and yes the recall mode will show the log and also the data or the record of the lap time and split time so in this case it will continue with something from the stopwatch so let me show you this is uh, the log number four we can move to the other log data by pressing the chess button so this one log number three number two number one okay something like that and then for log number four for example this is the latest one we can use the lap button and reset button to see the split time and so on okay something like this and this is the one that we uh, tried earlier on the stopwatch and anyway uh, this watch has a unique method to store the data that somehow it can be viewed as lap or split time so whichever uh, you need and this one we can set by setting the stopwatch first so for example this one it shows the time as split time so split one two three and so on okay and yes if you want to show the log number four as the lap time you need to get to the stopwatch mode this one and then change to lap time okay and then press the mode button and now we are in the recall mode and now it will show the log as yes as lap time so something like this so yes lap number one two three four and so on we can also take a look at lock number three number two number one also the same thing okay so yes if you want to see the data as lap time then you need to set the stopwatch as lap mode and if you want to see as split time then you need to set the stopwatch as split mode okay now let's move on to the next mode and that is the countdown timer 
so press the mode button and now TR countdown timer for this one you can set the length of the countdown by press and hold the chess button so yes let's press and hold the chess button on the top left and this one is the hour you can change the number using these two buttons start stop will increase and left reset will decrease okay now press the mode button and this one is the minute start stop will increase and lap reset will decrease okay press gain and now is the setting for the auto repeat you can press the start stop button to activate or deactivate whichever you want okay and if you press the mode button again now return to the setting of the hour and if you're done with the setting press the adjust button and done now to start the countdown timer press the start stop button this one and to pause use the same button if you want to continue also the same button and if you want to stop also same button and sorry and to reset use the left reset button okay and that's it for the timer now let's continue to the alarm so press the mode button and al alarm so this watch has three alarms alarm number one which also can be set as a snooze alarm and then alarm number two, number three, and then signal or hourly signal or hourly chime. So let's start with the alarm number one. Let's say I want to set this one as a snooze alarm for a wake up alarm as a daily one. And yes, at 5.30 in the morning. So to set that one, let's press adjust and hold. Okay, so now let's set the hour to five. So press the start button to increase. And then press the mode button to uh, set the minute. So start stop will increase. So 5.30. You can press and hold. And then yeah, press one by one to get to the number that you want. Okay. And then press the mode button. And now is the setting for the month and date. So sorry, I didn't tell you that uh, this watch use multifunction alarm. So yes, if you want to set as a daily alarm, then for the... Uh, for the month and date you will need to set as blank but if there are number there so like this one you can press the start stop or the left reset to uh, get it to blank like this okay press the mode button and now is the date also the same thing for daily alarm you need need to set as blank okay now uh, if you're done with the setting of the time for the alarm number one, 5.30, you can press the just button and done. So alarm number one, 5.30, a still alarm. And if you want to activate as a snooze alarm, you can press the just button. So this one meaning alarm and snooze active. This one is not active. This one alarm number one active, but not snooze. And this one both meaning alarm as a snooze alarm. Okay. Now press this one, the start stop button to move to the next one, alarm number two. So for this one, let me show you if I want to set this as, let's say, birthday reminder, like 10 February or something at six o'clock in the morning. So to do that, press and hold the HS button. Okay. And let's set the time now. So start stop button to increase uh, the hour. Okay. And then press mode button. And now we are setting the minute, but we will leave it blank because I want to set at 6 uh, o'clock in the morning. So press key in the mode button and now is the month. We want to set for February the 10th. So this one, I use start button to increase the number. Okay, press key in the mode button. And now is the date. So 10, use the start stop to increase and let reset to decrease. Oh, sorry. And done. Now uh, you can press the mode button to get to the hour if you want to change but if you're done with the setting you can press the just button and done now this one is active alarm number two four yes six o'clock for february the 10th if you want to deactivate press the just button so it is off if you want to activate also press the just button alarm number three will be the same so i will not show you here and then let's continue for this one the hourly signal you can activate by press uh, the HS button once like this not press and hold but just a uh, symbol press like this okay next 
We can also do the alarm sound check and to do that in the alarm mode, just press this one, the start stop button at the front left and you will get the alarm sound check beep like this. Okay, and yes, that's all for the alarm. Now we will continue to the next mode and that is the dual time. So press the mode button and now TT dual time. And for this one, you can set the time by press and hold the adjust button on the top left. And now we can first set for the daylight saving. And to change for this one, you can press the start stop button to set it as on or off. Okay. And then press the mode button to change the hour. You can use the start stop button to increase and left reset to decrease. Again, mode button and now is the minute. Start stop will increase and lab reset button will decrease. Okay, and yes, if you press once more, you get to the setting of the daylight saving and done. Press the adjust button. And yes, that's all for the setting of the dual time for this watch. Okay, now if you press the mode button, you get back to the timekeeping mode and done. That's all for the setting and operation of this watch. I hope I have covered all of them. And yes, the most confusing part or the most difficult part is to understand the stopwatch. And anyway, if I missed something in this explanation, something that I did not cover, please put in the comment below. It will be very helpful for me and also for other viewers. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. Have a great day.